What's up guys, AdventureDex here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you one of the coolest tech mods that you can do to your Jeep. I wanna give a huge shout out to Gianni from Australia who actually custom makes this mod for the Jeep Wrangler. Before we jump right in, make sure you click that subscribe button to follow my Jeep build. All right, let's go. All right guys, so check this out. We're gonna unbox it right here and I'll show you what we got. So obviously it looks just like a bunch of wires and, um, but basically what this kit does, this will allow you to have the push button start and keyless entry. It also comes with a few other features that I'll show you, but it should be pretty easy to install. Like I said, it's custom made for the Jeep Wrangler and so everything is already done for you. The wiring harness is already built. You just got to uh, sort of plug and play and uh, I'll show you guys how to install it now and uh, we'll see how it works. So we just got everything unboxed and here are the contents uh, of the kit. So it comes with push button start like I said. It has two keys which obviously are going to allow you to lock it and unlock it but it does have keyless entry which is really cool. This is a blank for your keyhole. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. comes with a couple of sensors, a couple of antennas and a few different modules but this is really really cool this is actually a keypad the keys are on this side it, it has a sticker which you stick to the windshield so you can actually access the Jeep without the keys at all which is super cool and then this is the main module here obviously it looks like a hopefully it's not when we install it and uh, this module is going to do all the magic so I can't wait to get this installed I'm super excited let's go okay so the first thing we need to do is access the ignition. We need to remove this cover and some of this plastic trim. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. We're just gonna get the steering wheel up, locked out of the way. I got the seat back, so I got some room to work. This plastic trim, you can just pull right off. And then there's a couple of T20, a couple of T20 screws that we gotta remove. So the location of the three screws, there's one here on the bottom, and then there's one here and one here in these holes. What we're trying to do is get this plastic cover off. So I got all the three screws out, but uh, I ran into a little problem. My Torx bit is so short and this is so deep. So luckily I had a screwdriver and I was able to get it in the socket and then undo it. So just make sure you got along one of those. So the next thing is, is to get this plastic off and it's just being held on. So you kind of just work it off. There you go. And then there's a piece on the top, but I believe we can leave that, but we'll just take it off anyway. So that piece is off, and now we have all of the wires to access and to hook up our system to the OEM ignition. So the next thing you guys wanna do is locate your immobilizer. It's right next to the keyhole. It's this plastic box, and it has a little wiring harness. You wanna be careful, there's not much room to get this out, but if you move the wire, you should be able to press in and sort of wiggle it out. So the next thing we need is our main wiring harness. We're gonna put all this to the side except for this T connector. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the piece directly into our immobilizer that we just unplugged. That's basically going to hijack our immobilizer. So that's plugged in, it clicked. Then the OEM one that we took out, we're gonna plug that into our T. And now the module will be able to take over and do its thing. The next step is to ground it out. So I unplugged the big module and I'm just gonna fish this behind the steering column. So I'm just gonna fish this through. All of these should fit without the big module on it. All right, now I'm just gonna undo this screw and we're gonna use this as our ground location. So I got my ground wires. I'm just gonna put them on. It's okay if you don't have two. The kits are slightly different. I'm gonna put this back on and that's gonna ground out our module. So what you need to do with this black module is, you press the button on the side, you hold it, then you plug in the black four prong plug. As soon as it turns blue, you wanna let go. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna take your factory key, and you wanna stick it in. You wanna turn it two clicks. So one, two. 
When it starts blinking rapidly, you want to take your key out and then press the lock button. It'll stop rapidly blinking, it'll turn off, and that means your key is now programmed. You can then get your aftermarket key. When you press unlock, the Jeep unlocks, lock, the Jeep locks. There you go, your new key is programmed. So after we program it, the next thing is to get our push button start. I want to put it where the mirror controls are. I don't really use these and I think it'll fit perfectly right there. I just pop this off. It just has these orange clips that hold it in place and then just disconnect all of the wiring harnesses. So this I think comes off. I've never had it off before, but I think if I just push these tabs, it should come right off and then I'll be able to put this in its place. Oh, you twist it and then it should come right out. There you go. So now we can try and fit this one in its place. All right guys, so I actually got it to fit. It's the perfect size. I had to take off this rubber uh, seal, but basically what I did was I opened up the prongs. I closed them to get it through the hole, then opened up when they were on the back of the hole, so you can see it kind of holds it in place. It does wiggle a, a tiny bit, but not, not much. Um, when the Jeep's bouncing around, it'll be fine, and you can press it in and out. So I think that looks awesome. We'll put it, if I need to make any adjustments, I'll let you know, but otherwise I'm pretty happy that I didn't have to cut anything. It just fits right into that hole. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug in all of the factory harnesses back into the uh, AC control lower unit, and then we're just gonna pop it back in. The wire is across and now coming out on that side. So it's back together and look how factory that looks. That's amazing. It's right next to the steering wheel. Push button start. Now we're gonna grab our silver module and we're gonna get the wire from the push button start. That's a four prong. We're gonna plug it into the back. We're also gonna get the three antennas. This is a three prong. We're gonna plug it in here. And then the other two antennas plug into the front of the module and they're two prongs. So they just go just like that. All right. The next step is to test the module itself and press the push button start. Yeah. Damn, check that out. Push button start on a Jeep. That's super cool. There's a couple safety features we have to add by hooking it up to the brake pedal, which we'll do in a later step, but you can see it all works. It's programmed on and off. How cool is that? All right, guys, so this is the update. I got the, all three antennas in place. I got one of the antennas up in the A pillar, one behind the dash, and one all the way in the rear. All I did was run it under the plastic trim and carpet all the way to the back. So we got these, we can plug them back into the module that's gonna sit right behind driver's dash. So this is the keypad and the keypad is really cool. It allows you obviously to punch in a code, six digit code, and that'll unlock the vehicle. So this gets stuck to the glass and that's why you can see there's the uh, sticky side on this side. This is what it looks like on the inside. And so what we need to do is reset the password. It comes preset to one, two, three, four, five, six. And to do that, you just need a little pin and there's a little hole on the back side of it, which you press and hold and uh, that'll, be allow, that'll allow us to put in the new code. So I'm gonna peel this and I'm gonna be very careful because I'm gonna have to stick it to the uh, windshield afterwards. So what I'm gonna do is, okay, so you can see there are all of the numbers. I'm gonna turn it around and press and hold this pin. So we're going to put in our preset passcode. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to put in our new passcode. Now they blink twice. Now I'm going to put in my passcode again. And now it's confirmed. 
So now I can stick this to the windshield behind the tweeter and uh, we're good to go. The kit also comes with a GPS module because there is an app that you can download and actually track the vehicle and use all the functions through the app. So you open this up, you can put a SIM into it. I'm not going to use the GPS module feature, but all you would do is, is you would put this away from metal somewhere behind the dash, you plug it in and then it'll work. All right guys, all you gotta do is just squeeze in to the footwell and zip tie it. It's incredibly easy, anybody can fit in here. And uh, don't forget to press that subscribe button. God. <laughs> All right, so the last step is to hook up this orange wire to the brake pedal. There's a white and brown wire on the brake pedal, which you should just be able to steal power to as a safety feature. So I'm just making some room, and I'll put a photograph on the screen now of what it looks like. All right, guys, so we just got it installed, and I'm super excited about all the new features. First, it's really cool. Obviously, we have the remote, and you can do regular lock, unlock. But check this out. If you walk away from the vehicle when it's unlocked, it'll automatically lock. And when we walk back towards it, it'll automatically unlock. How cool is that? Let's jump inside. On the inside, we have a brand new push button start. Looks totally OEM. So push the brake, press it once. Starts right up. On the outside, I got the keypad. All I gotta do is put in my passcode, unlock and lock the vehicle. How cool is that? And last but not least, for those cold winter mornings, remote start. Your Jeep is warming up while you're inside drinking coffee. All right guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you did, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to follow my Jeep build. As always, I'll put the product link in the description so you can go over there and check it out. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to stay up to date and to see some behind the scenes. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can get one of these t-shirts, link below. I got a lot of exciting stuff coming up, so stay tuned. As always, I'm Adventure Dex, keep on jeeping. <laughs>